A traceability matrix allows us to map and track the relationship between any two objects in a software development project. Typically, we use traceability matrices to link requirements to use cases, requirements to process flows, use cases to process flows, and requirements to business objectives. I've seen teams try to link requirements to design elements, to development objects, and to test cases. You might want to do this to ensure that every requirement was implemented. The last of these, linking to test cases, is the most useful to help ensure that you have complete coverage of your requirements in your test cases. However, the most useful ones in the requirements world we find are linking requirements to process flows. So you have some kind of organization by which to review requirements and identify any missing ones. And we also like linking requirements to business objectives so that you can measure the value of the requirements and cut the ones that do not contribute much value to the business objectives. When creating traceability matrices, first and foremost, I insist you use a tool to manage this traceability. If you try to do it manually, like in an Excel file, you're most likely going to give up maintaining that as your requirements grow. So instead, start out doing this in a requirements management tool. Also, know that you can trace forwards and backwards. For example, if I have business objectives, I can trace to requirements, showing me which requirements support the business objectives. I can also trace backwards from requirements up to business objectives, which tells me if I have any requirements that do not map to any business objectives. And if I change a requirement, how am I impacting the overall value? For example, I might want to cut a requirement, but when I look and I see it supports the most important business objective, I might choose not to cut that one. Similarly, if I have requirements that don't map to business objectives at all, then I might as well cut them, as they are not adding any value to the system and are just costing effort to analyze, build, and test.